Hi, I'm Router Bob. Welcome to Shop Saber Minutes. Today we're going to talk about laser calibration. In our videos, we talk about the concept of machine tool grade CNC router. Let's unpack that a little bit. You know, it starts out with how you do the design work, and that's why we use the latest finite element analysis software to help us do that. It has to do with the components that you use. That's why we use precision ball screws. That's why we use precision ground contour rails. That's why we use servos. It also has to do with how you machine those components. We looked at how we actually do all the machining on an aerospace mill in a single setup. Then frame picks up the accuracy of the mill. But there's one other part that has to do with accuracy and being a machine to a great CNC router and that's final assembly. Once we assemble the parts and we have machine motion, that motion creates the work envelope. Now, what we're interested in is what shape is that work envelope and how accurate is it. So let's, let's think about that. How do we do that? Well, first off, you have to have a way to measure it. So we use a ferro laser calibration system that's accurate to six decimal places. So it will tell us if that bottom plane is flat. And of course, if it's flat, by definition, all four corners have to share a common plane. The same thing with the top plane. All right, if you look from the top, down on the work envelope, what angle is a corner? If the machine's square, it's 90 degrees. So once again, it gives us a way to evaluate that. And of course, finally, calibration in all three axes. So if I tell it to move 10 inches, how much does it move? So employing the laser calibration system is what really is the final part of having a machine tool grade CNC router. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.